Hi, my name is Ernest, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to filter the query loop editor block via Ajax Search Pro. In this case, all you need is obviously Ajax Search Pro and nothing else because the query loop is part of the native WordPress editor. So first off, let's start off by going into the Ajax Search Pro menu and let's create a new search bar. I'm just going to call this a search. Let's add it and clicking on the gear icon, you can access the settings. And right on the first page, uh, I will make a tiny change that I'm going to deselect pages because in this example, I'm going to only search posts. And to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to go to the front end search settings panel. And on this general sub panel, I'm going to set the search settings to visible by default, this option, and make sure that the search settings position is set to block. So it doesn't hover over the search, but it's it's beneath it. And also let's go now to the categories and taxonomy terms panel. And I'm going to select post categories and just going to use all of them with the default layout, which is a checkbox layout. Now, let me move my camera so you can see what I'm doing better. So now I'm going to click this on this show button right down there to see how the search looks. So this is exactly what you should get. And Let's just go down and uh, save all tabs. Now we go to the pages and let's create a new page for uh, for filtering. So add new page. And I'm just going to call this like query loop filter. And as first, I'm going to add the Ajax Search Pro. You can sell if you have multiple search instances, you can select that here like here, I only have one and it should, if you click away, it should render immediately. And the next is going to be the query loop element, this one. Let's just select that. And I'm just going to start blank with a title and date. Don't make it really like difficult. So what we need is the, the post page type. There we go. And there is going to be a new tab on the block settings, Ajax Search Pro and there's an option live search target. And here you need to select the search uh, that you created. In my case, it's called the search. So I just select that. And what this does is actually, if I scroll down here on the advanced, it's going to add a CSS class, which please don't remove because this is needed by Azure Search Pro to know, to know how which uh, element to target. And what we need is just publish. And after publishing the page, it should work right away. So if I unclick category to see, it is working. Even if I go like test, see, or maybe another, there you go. So that's all there is to it. All right. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget it. And if you don't have an Ajax license yet, well, what are you waiting for? Links in the description below and we'll see you in the next one.